Namaste beautiful souls. Welcome back to Yoga Infusion. My name is Dylan and today's class is going to be a Strong Foundations Vinyasa Flow. Uh, the Strong Foundations refers to any point of the body that is touching the ground. So if we're in plank, our foundations are our feet and our hands. Down dog, same thing. But we are going to have a little bit of an emphasis on the lower body and building up the lower body in today's practice. So before we begin, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like, you can follow me over on Instagram at yoga.infusion. I'm a little bit more active there in terms of being able to have conversations or ask questions or um, you know, ask for specific classes that you might be wanting. So hop on over there, and then when you're ready, let's begin at the top of the mat. So beginning today in Tadasana, bring your feet about hip distance apart, toes facing directly forward, and then starting from these foundations, right? So ground down into the heels, spread the toes wide so you have a strong base, a wide base, and then moving up into the body. So drawing the front body up as you ground down through the back body. Notice the changes here in your hips as you lengthen the tailbone down, drawing the front part of the hips up a little bit higher, a little bit of a crunching action in the core, and then again, moving up the body, lift the heart space, grow taller, lift the crown of the head, and then open the palms forward, relax the shoulders down, close the eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. And we'll just take a moment here to feel into the body, the energy of the body that you have arrived with today. Just beginning to lengthen the breath and notice the quality of the breath as it moves into your body and out again. Let's take three deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Come to lift up on the tippy toes here. Stabilize, and as you exhale, release the hands, release the heels. Inhale, lift up onto the toes. Exhale, down. A few more. Finding that stable grounding through the balls of the feet, even though there's a lot of a smaller, it's a lot smaller of a base. Move with the breath. Let's take three more. Last one. Exhale down. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the left knee up along with the hands. So balancing here. Press firmly into the right foot. Lift out of the hip socket. Big breath here. And then exhale, place the left foot down. Hands come to the side. Then the other side. Inhale, right leg lifts. Hands lift. Nice and tall. Big breath here. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, sink the hips back, come into chair pose. Weight in the heels. You can widen the arms here a little bit more to create some space for the neck, for the shoulders, or you can also bring your hands to prayer if that feels a little bit better for you. Lengthen the tailbone down, lift the heart for three, two, 
and one forward fold. Shake the head, yes and no. Little bend in the knees. Little twist maybe, side to side, getting into the hips. And then inhale to center, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank. Spread the fingers wide, 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 wide. Shoulders over the wrist, heart space opens forward so we're not rounding too, too much in the back. But do press the space between the shoulder blades up towards the sky. Press the heels away from you, engage through the whole body, hold for five, four, three, two, one, vinyasa. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Find some movement in the shoulders and the hips. Big fan of movement in down dog as you're hanging out here, kind of just exploring into the body, into the joints. And back to center. All right, take your left hand to the center of the mat, a little bit closer to the right hand. And then take the right hand to the left leg somewhere. Keep the spine long, look under the left shoulder, twist. And switch it inside, so right hand comes down. Left hand to left, uh, right leg rather, look under the right shoulder. Back to center, both hands down, shoulder distance apart, and then lift the toe, or sorry, heels here. Keep the spine long, bend into the knees, keep the tailbone high to start. Then you're gonna twist both heels over to the left, so now your toes are facing the right, and then sink the hips down like you're trying to sit on your heels. Glue down through that right hand and stretch into the right side body. like you're crouching. <laughs> Inhale, come back up to down dog, and then turn the heels to the right, crouch back towards the heels, and then ground down through the left hand. Inhale, back to down dog. Excellent. Right leg lifts to the sky. As you exhale, step the foot between the hands. Come on up, high lunge. Press the left heel away from you. Ground down into the right heel. Hands to prayer, prayer twist. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Keep kicking back with the left leg. Inhale, come back up, reaching up. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips and bump the left foot an inch forward. So now, take your torso nice and long and straight here over the right leg. Right knee stays above the right ankle. Reach the hands down. Try to square the hips as best you can. I'm already starting to feel it in the right leg. <laughs> Yesterday was leg day, okay? I'm a little tired. Okay, nice long spine. Fingers are facing the ground. You're gonna hinge. Touch down either on the ground or you can keep it up in the air or you can place blocks here so you have something to tap down on. And then coming back up to high lunge. Nice tall spine, hinge at the hips, reach down and come back up. Legs don't move, okay? Three, only the upper body moves. Four, five, five more, you know it. Six, keep the shoulders relaxed, heart open. So we're not rounding and trying to touch the ground, okay? Shoulders are down. Seven, down and back. Eight, nine, 10. Inhale, coming up, reach up. Exhale, bring the left hand to the mat. Right arm reaches to the sky, easy twist. Oof, that feels good on the leg that we just worked, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, 
Reach the right arm up and overhead. And then coming into a three-pointed plank. So this is a little bit complicated. You can always bring the left knee down, come into a tabletop, and then come into plank, whatever works for you. Or try to catch your balance, step the right foot back. Legs are wide, the right arm reaches forward. Try to keep the hips fairly square. They're gonna open a little bit to the right, that's okay. Then, option to just hold here, very hard. Or you're gonna take the right elbow to the left knee 10 times. One, whew, two, three, four. If you felt like making today even harder, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, 10, plank, vinyasa, to downward dog. Building up the core, building up the arm strength, building up the leg strength. Really, this class is all about strength in your foundational stability, right? You have to have stability in your foundations to be able to balance, to be able to function well within your life, to be more balanced from the roots up, right? You can only grow as tall and as wide as our roots are grounded tall and deep and wide in the, in the earth, right? Or in our body, our legs. <laughs> We're thinking metaphorically here today, okay? Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through for high lunge. Inhale, fingertips tall. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, come back up, reach up. Exhale, hands to the hips, pop the right foot in a little bit closer so that we can find that length and take all the weight onto the left leg. The right leg is just there for stability behind us, okay? And then palms down, our fingers towards the ground, nice and tall in the spine, hinge, and come up. One. Two, really push the ground away from you with the left heel. Three. Four, five, whoop, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, inhale, reach, exhale, right hand comes down, left arm up, easy twist. Coming into that three-pointed plank, so really glue down into the right hand, spread the fingers wide, step the left foot back wide, so now we have a kind of a triangle, and then reach the left arm forward. Just hold if you want, or right elbow to left, right knee to left elbow. One, two, three, this time the seed is easier, four, five, six, Seven, maybe not. Eight, nine, ten, plank, vinyasa, chaturanga, upward dog. Feels nice. <laughs> Two, chaturanga, downward dog. <sighs> I needed some yoga in my body, I think. Okay, ready? To continue, <laughs> inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Hands of prayer. Bring the torso forward over the right leg. So right leg is strong. And you're gonna begin to peel off the left leg, coming into a warrior three. Okay, once you found your stability, you're gonna come up to standing Bring the left knee up. You can keep your hands in prayer here. You can reach it out to the side, whatever is going to benefit you the most. And then we're gonna kick it back to warrior three. And come back 
to knee in 10 times. Try to keep the spine long. No rounding to reach the ground, okay? You don't have to go all the way parallel in your warrior three. You can just come at this angle, right? Keep the head and the foot moving as one, like a puppet, like a plank of wood, okay? Warrior three to knee in. Okay, now we're starting. One. <laughs> Two, use your core to lift the knee. Three. Four. Five, five more. Ankle on fire. Ankle on fire. Six. I always feel it in my ankle. Seven but other people tell me they feel it elsewhere. So let me know <laughs> where you feel it. Eight, oh man. Nine, ten. Back to warrior three. And then here, bring the right hand to the mat. Oh. Open the left toes to the side, left hand to the sky. Half moon pose. Kind of a break. <laughs> All right, bend through the right leg, step it back to warrior two. <sighs> Burns, Bernie burn, okay. <sighs> Whew. Straighten through the right leg, bump the hips back in space, triangle pose. Trikonasana, open the left hips, left ribs, left hand to the sky. And then rebend into the right leg, come into side angle pose, hand on the inside of the right leg. And then grounding down into that right hand, you're going to step it back to side plank. Now here, you're going to bring the left hand down. So now your hands are in a plank alignment, but your legs are in a side plank, crisscross. Take the right knee to the left elbow, left knee to left elbow. So both your knees are facing this elbow. You're just bending the knees alternatively, or alternately, towards that elbow 10 times. One, two, three, right hip is dropped. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, vinyasa, to down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. High lunge. Hands to prayer. Weight on that left leg, launching forward, warrior three. Nice, nice long neck. Come up to standing knee in. This is my weaker side, I'm already wobbly. Kick it back. To knee in. And we'll start here because I had so many extras on the other side. You might have as well. One. Two. Focus more on the balance and the alignment than the speed, okay? This is not a race. Three. If I'm going faster than you, just pause the video. Four. That's what I do to my teachers all the time. Always pausing if I'm tired. Ooh. Five, I need a break, need a water run, whatever. Pause it, come back. Six. Seven, almost there. Oh man. Eight, this is going all the way up my shin. Nine, last one. Ten, warrior three. Left hand comes down, Ooh, open the right arm up, half moon. Bend the left knee, step the right leg back. Warrior two. We made it. Straighten through the left leg, bump the hip back, reach forward, triangle. 
open the upper body to the sky. Press both hips forward in space. And then re-bend into the left leg, side angle. Ground down into that left hand, side plank. And then bring the right hand down so your hands are in plank. Your lower body is in side plank. Probably have the left foot behind the right, but if that, you know, play around, see which one feels more natural for you. And we're gonna do 10 knee ins towards that right elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. Vinyasa. To down dog. <sighs> Shake it out. Shake out anything that needs shaken out. Your ankles, your shoulders if you need to, your neck. And inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. High lunge. Hands to prayer. Bend into the left knee. Step to the top of the mat and then bring the left ankle to the right knee here. Coming into figure four chair, bend into the right leg. Hands can be a prayer or you can gently place your hands on the left knee and ankle, but don't push, don't force anything to sort of support yourself or hands at prayer on the shin. Inhale, come to standing. Reach up, bring the left knee in. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, easy twist. To side plank. Hold. Just hold. It's easier, right? It's easier to hold, maybe. Spread into your left hand make sure the shoulder is stacked above the wrist engage into the legs for five four three two one plank vinyasa to down dog inhale the left leg up exhale step it through inhale high lunge Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. Figure four pose. Chair sinking down, opening into the right hip. Maybe feels nice. Feels nice for me. Inhale, come back up, bring the knee in. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, whoops, right hand comes down, left arm up, easy twist. To side plank. Hold. Find your balance. Embrace the wobbles. Lift the hips. Smile. For five. Four, three, two, one, plank, vinyasa, to down dog. All right, done the work, so now time for some rest. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bring it forward into pigeon. Square the hips, lift the heart. Press into the top of the left foot. Inhale here, and if you'd like to take a fold, you can do so, but keep the heart lifted, spine long length in the upper body.
If you have more time, take a longer pigeon, take a little bit longer of a break, but I'm gonna try to keep this class short because we've got lots going on these summer days. This is being filmed in the summer. I'm actually in the middle of moving. This is actually the last set of classes I'll be filming in this space. So sometimes you've got a lot going on and you don't have a lot of time to work out. So we're gonna keep this class short for days like that. So if you can stay in pigeon, stay there. Otherwise, come on out with me to down dog, knee circles, and we'll take it to the other side. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, walk it forward. Press down through the top ooh, of the right leg. This is tight, this feels good. Nice and tall in the spine, square the hips. If you have a lot of space underneath your left hip or you're noticing that you're falling to the side, grab a block or a blanket and place it underneath the hip for some support. And then maybe forward fold. Inhale, coming up, three-legged dog, knee circles, place it down, bend the knees, take your gaze to the top of the mat, we're coming into yogic squats, so hop your way there, hands to prayer at the heart. Come to a seat. And if you like plow in your practice, I don't know if it's, my hair is going to allow me to do this, but you can take a plow, rolling down onto your back, and then bring the legs up and over the head. You can support your back with your hands. I quite like that, especially if you're not touching down. So if you have your feet a little bit more like this or a little more like this, it's nice to have your hands under there for support or a block. I am in the afternoon now, so my feet can touch down. In the morning, they absolutely can. They're nowhere near the ground. So just figuring out what's going to work best for you. And then when you're ready, Nice and slowly rolling out. Ooh. Onto the back. Bring the knees to touch. Feet a little bit wider than the knees. And then happy baby. If you can hear that, but the upstairs neighbors here are making a lot of noise. Release the legs, supine twist. And the other side. Again, if you have more time. Any of these things can be held a little bit longer. And then come back to center. You can come into a regular Shavasana or Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. Draw your shoulders underneath your heart. Palms face up. Dip the chin slightly. And give yourself the opportunity, the gift of the stillness of this rest for a few moments.
Even if all you have is 30 seconds of stillness, up to five minutes even if you're able to. But stillness is just as important as movement. And it's something that many of us don't get enough of. So I'll leave you here in silence to rest, to recuperate, and to relax, and I will see you soon with our next class together. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.